This video is part of my premium course, so if you like it, be sure to check out usefullaravelpackages.com. Okay, let's take a look at Wink. Wink is a Laravel-based publishing platform that allows you to quickly get a blog up and running within a Laravel app. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to use it. So as always, I have a fresh Laravel app here and I haven't done anything to it. Let's go ahead and Composer require the package. Okay, let's do PHP Artisan Wink install. Okay, and now it says to check config wink and configure the database connection. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go into the env file and let's set up our database normally. So I have a database set up already called wink and the username is root and the password is nothing. But if we go into config wink, then we have this new variable we have to add. And all we have to do is add this and just set it to the same connection as this. So I'll put it right above here and it's the same MySQL as well. So what this will do is it will add a prefix to the tables that it needs. So let me save that. And as you can see, it's empty here. So if we do the normal PHP artisan migrate, you'll see the new tables there. But if you do PHP Arson Wink Migrate, you'll see the tables that Wink needs. So let's go ahead and do this. And you can see it created the tables it needed. And if I go in my database, you'll see those new ones that have the prefix of Wink. Okay. And now if we go to slash Wink, so I can go here we are presented with a separate login specifically for Wink. So if you look into the console, you'll see a user was created here. So admin at mail.com and this is the password. So let's grab that. Admin at mail.com and password. Okay, so here's the backend for Wink. And here you have a bunch of options. Let's go ahead and set it to dark mode because dark mode is awesome. And we can save it here. And you can see that there are options for posts, pages, tags, team. So let's go ahead and make a new post here. And as you can see, you're presented with a very minimal screen for writing, which is awesome in my opinion. So this is where the title goes, Let's say my first blog post, and then you can just start writing here. It makes use of Quill.js, which is a popular WYSIWYG, and you can write as long as you want without any distractions. You can also add code blocks. So if I add some code here, let me just copy some, some PHP here. I'm just going to paste it in here. Oh, sorry. That actually pasted the colors. There we go. Pasted without any formatting. And now to get this editor here and the options, you just have to highlight the text. And there's actually two code options. One's for inline code, which is this one. And I believe this will wrap your code in a code tag. And this one will wrap your code in a pre tag. And we want this one for blocks of code. So we can do that. And it automatically has highlight JS, at least in the back end. In the front end, we actually have to add that, which I'll show you later on. Cool. You can also add images. If I can get out of this. So if you add an image here, there's an icon for image and you can upload an image. But another cool feature is it allows you to make use of Unsplash's API and you can just search right from within the app if you want to use that. So just go here and grab your API key. So I have one here already. So just make a new API key. And I think we only need 
the secret key. Just copy that. And then let's see where to put it. We have to make a new section in config services called unsplash and then add this unsplash access key. Let's do that. Config services. And let's add unsplash. Cool. And let's add this to our env down here. Oh, oops, I guess that didn't copy. Cool. And let's add our key. If I have it here again. Okay, now if we go back into the editor and refresh this, if we go back here for an image, there we go. We see search on splash. And usually this works. We couldn't find any matches. Sorry, I think we need to use the access key, not the secret key. So let me just change that. And let's try again. Let's add that image. Search. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. So yeah, you can just add any image here. So let's just add something with coding. Cool, let's grab this. Choose selected image. And here is the option to edit your caption and we can just leave the default and you can see it in there cool and yeah that pretty much does it the WYSIWYG is pretty straightforward kind of wish there was support for markdown but there is not currently and now if you want to publish it as you can see it's in draft mode just go to publish and you can set a time here and i believe this follows the time zone in your laravel config and for now we'll just leave that and you can publish this post. And now that is in our database. So if you check the database, wink posts, there it is right there. And to display it on the front end, that's totally up to us. And we just make use of Laravel. And there's absolutely no style. So you're responsible for that. And I think one of the features in the future is to add a default theme. But yeah, for now, there's no styles on the front end. So let's quickly scaffold out the front end and how you would code that up. So let's go to routes web. And actually, let's make a blog controller. So PHP artisan make controller blog controller. Let's make a resourceful. Okay. And for this, I'm get rid of this and let's make one for getting all so it will be slash oops and then it will be blog controller and index is fine we'll name it blog.index and let's make one for showing the actual blog and that will be slug that will be show and that will be blog show cool Okay, so those are the routes we need and we just have to implement it in our controller. So for index, if you look at the docs, you'll see how to grab all the posts right here. Just use wink, wink post on top and then just do this. So we'll paste that in, grab this and we can use it here. Okay. And we have to make that view. We'll do that in a second. Just format this. Cool. And as you can see, it's just using Eloquent here. It's getting the post with tags, which we're not using. It's getting all the live posts and it's ordering it by publish date descending and it's doing some pagination. And it's passing in to a view called index, which we'll make in a sec. And it's passing in the posts. So let's make that view quickly. So resources, views, let's go to make it one for index. And I'm not gonna use layouts here. I'm just gonna do some basic HTML here. So say blog index. 
and let's make a for each here. So we have posts as post and just make a div with the title. I guess it should be H2s. And it'll be post title. And there's actually an excerpt. Let me just show you. Let's just dump the posts here, and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, actually, let me show you the back end first. Let me close on slash. So here's the back end, and if you want to see the settings for this particular post, you just go here. You'll see some general settings. You can even add a featured image. And you'll see the slug here, the author, the tags, and the excerpt. This is the excerpt for this particular post. So we can save that. And now if we hit our front end, let's go to this. And then you'll see those fields here. They come back as a collection. And you'll see we have one post. And you can see it right here. So there's the body, the title, the excerpt, and we can make use of that. So let's go ahead and change this or comment this out. Go back to index and we can just do P post excerpt. Okay, let's see if this works. When we have one post, so obviously it's just gonna show one. Cool. And obviously this should be a link. So let's link this or let's add a link. Or we can just change this to a link if you want. Yeah, let's just change it to a link. So we can use the URL helper or you can just hard code it. Let's just go to post slug. And let's make sure to close that. And now that should be a link. Cool. And now we just have to implement this. So let's go to blog controller. Let's go to show. And am I using that as an, yeah, so I'm using the slug as a parameter. So we can grab the slug in here. And we have to use eloquent to query that so we can do wink post and just use eloquent normally where slug is slug and we can just grab the first one and then we can return a view which we'll create in a second show and we just do with or let's just keep it consistent I think I did it with an array up there so we'll do post Post. Okay, so that should return the view. And we just have to make it here. Show.blade.php. And again, it's going to scaffold it out. And yeah, you can put the title in here, I guess. So it'll be post title. And then put an h2 here, post title again. And then we can just put the body and that already has HTML tags. So we have to escape it here and we can do post body. Okay. See if this works. We refresh this and there we go. There is our post. Again, there's no styles. You have to create your own styles. And there's no syntax highlighting here in the front end, like I said, but if you want to add highlight JS, so it does that, you can easily do that. Just add highlight JS from a CDN. So let's do that quickly. Um, so I'm going to put a script tag here that just grabs it from a CDN. I'm also going to grab the CSS of the flavor you want from a CDN. I'll just use the GitHub flavor. Let's put that up here. Okay. And we have to add some JavaScript to initialize 
highlight JS. I'm just going to paste that in. So we need another script tag, and there's the code. Just initialize it, grab everything in a pre tag, and then just highlight it. Let's see if this works. Okay, there we go. We see the syntax highlighting kick in. And let's grab another theme here, a dark theme. So we can use that instead. Just uh, Google the highlight JS themes, and there we go. Cool. So there you go. If you want a blog within your Laravel app and want to get started as quickly as possible, definitely check out Wink.